Colorado Avalanche Hockey on Altitude is brought to you by Dodge. Visit Dodge.com or your local dealer today. Frost Brewed Coors Light, the world's most refreshing beer. CenturyLink, a trusted technology partner, frees you to focus on what matters. CenturyLink, your link to what's next. And by Shortline Subaru, save money, drive better. A oh, beautiful day in Denver, Colorado. As the San Jose Sharks are in town to face the Colorado Avalanche. They had a wonderful game on December 23rd. The Avalanche, unfortunately, lost in a shootout. And we're looking for some uh, great action today, this afternoon here in Denver. All right, Peter, here's well, the fourth starting lineup. Tell me about the goaltenders. Well, you talked to a couple of red-hot goaltenders. Andrew Dammy, Mike, he won a Stanley Cup of Chicago Blackhawks a few years ago and is having another sensational season for the San Jose Sharks. But the man of the hour, no question, for the Avalanche right now has been Semyon Varlamov. The Avalanche are 2-0-1-1 on this homestand, Mike, and he has played so well. He has been so solid. That last game against Philadelphia, you can't ask for better goaltending. There was one tip shot. That was it. They were the only one that got by him as he helped the Avalanche in a big 2-1 win over Philadelphia. All right, we're ready to go. Joel Thornton, Matt Duchesne for the opening faceoff. Niemi handles the puck, turns it back behind the net, and we are underway here in Denver. Lassick wheeling his way through center ice. Shoots the puck in. Slowed up behind the net by Varlamov. And the Avalanche defenseman Jan Hayden trying to slide it up the middle. That's cut off. Pavelski, Thornton, and Burns. Boy, that's a highly potent line, isn't it, Peter, for the San Jose Sharks? Maybe, maybe the key line for the Avalanche, they have to stop this line. There's so much sort of different kinds of talent. You've got Pavelski and you've got... Joe Thornton, we know about that, but Burns is the, like that X factor on this line. He's a giant of a guy, 6'5", great shot. He had a goal and a couple of assists the last time that these two clubs met, and he has a whole different dimension to San Jose. And we saw the start, Matthew Shane's line was matched up against that line. Then across for Landeskog, the Stastny line comes out to the abs with O'Reilly and Landeskog. Starch and Benoit on defense. For Colorado. Sharks have the puck. Kutcher brings it up the board. Blocked off. Played to the corner. Stasty for Colorado. Around the end boards. Landis got fed the puck back towards Sark. Split across towards Benoit. Pop free for the Sharks to take. And carried out towards center ice. Matt Nieto shoots it in. On the way by Benoit to the far faceoff circle in the AB zone. Sark. Cross ice pass for Mitchell. Puck bounced a little bit. Then across it, they drive down to the corner. One hand along the boards by James Shepard. Taken away by the Avs and hooked off the glass and out. They'll roll towards the Emmy. He'll steer the puck for Demers to take. To the corner. One hands it off the boards. Mitchell arrives for the Avalanche. Challenge for the puck. Comes out to center. Smacked back from center ice by the Avalanche defenseman Nate Gennon. And the mayors slow things down, waiting for those rest of the changes to be made. Put pass up the near side of wing, scooped out the center. By Mike Brown, bounces in, the shot gets blocked, rolls towards Barlamov, bat that away. And the puck gets taken back by the Sharks, out at center right. Blaster played the juniors under a coach walk. Turned back through center ice by the Avalanche. Classic chasing, being hounded by Malone. Turns the puck to the far wing. And out towards center ice, and the puck will roll in to the Colorado zone. Coming up through the two circles to center ice. One by Johnson. He shoots set made by Niemi. Johnson wraparound try stopped by Niemi. What an effort from Eric Johnson. Michael, he was just, he flew by me uh, about as quick as we've, we've seen him. He was just flying. Comes in this game, a three-game assist, Drake Duchesne, trying to split through the defense, went down to the ice, and the puck is bounced to center by Justin Braun. Oh, Michael, did Duchesne all just missed having one of the best moves you're going to see. Oh, so close. O'Reilly backhands the puck across. And a handle off the Landis guard. Behind the net, Niemi will handle the puck. Turns around the boards. 
Benoit pitched in from the point, and back to him. Nice job to flag it down. Trying to punch it ahead, a little help from O'Reilly, sends the puck behind the Sharks' net. Scott Hannon rolls the puck around, stopped by Sharks. His shot, save, rebound, covered! And the Emmy, a little snow angel there in the crease as he makes the save. Well, Michael, when you're playing the San Jose Sharks, you have to know who you're playing. Here's the last opportunity, just stays behind him. Deshane, right there. He had the man going the wrong way, he just blew a tire. But Eric Johnson coming up the ice, and this is what you love to see Eric Johnson do. When he's doing this early, Mike, he is a freight train to try to deal with. That is just a big, strong man coming through that neutral zone. But you have to watch the San Jose Sharks. You have to be careful, Mike. This is the club. They lead the league in shots on goal per game. 36 shots on goal, Mike. So you can get into a game where your goaltender can face an awful lot of shots if you're not defensively strong. But Peter, it doesn't do you any good if you're getting a lot of shots. But how about this? In the first period, the Sharks lead the NHL in goals scored in the first period. They've got 49, as well as giving up the fewest goals in the first period. Just yeah, 20. Yeah, they're going to say that's a coach's dream. It's a combination. It's one thing to open things up and you get into these wild things. It's another thing to be tremendous defensively and great offensively. In the corner, Mitchell has the puck for the Avalanche in the shark zone. Turned around the boards, cut off in the corner by Dave Jordan and San Jose. Comes free, Avalanche get it back, pass by McLeod, kicked off. Slammed off the glass, holding. Trying to keep it in at the blue line, popped out in the center. Shepard gives to Dave Jardin. Got a man going down the middle, the shot by Dave Jardin sailed wide. Held along the far side by Stewart. Stop the puck in the corner. Ginnon's got it. And uh, more Patrick Wan is just living right now on the bench. Shot by Brown. Save. Swatted it back towards the point. Kept in. Down the boards. Back to the far side point for Stewart. His shot gets blocked by Bordalo. And the pass of fight to Malone. And Stewart leans into him. And the puck into the shark zone. Like what, what happened on that play, and the Avalanche certainly have a point, is two San Jose Shark players collide, one coming on, one coming off. They both fell down. So they were both on the ice. Now, one play, it was, it was an axe, and they didn't mean to run into each other, certainly. But they were 25 feet from the bench. But batted by Malone over the glass and out of play. Here's the play. Watch on the left side of your screen. You see, you see the... There's six, there's six skaters there's out six there. There's six skaters right yeah. there. Uh -huh. And w w as I said, it was an inadvertent play, but they, they just banged into each other, and they were lying on the ice. Yeah, that was uh, Andrew Desjardins and Mike Brown who ran into each other. And Mike, did they wallop each other? They both thought, that, well, I'm going left, whoa, whoa, and then boom. That was our first big hit of the game. <laughs> it was two San Jose Sharks on each other. Bounced around to the corner. Hannon off the puck. Hannon did not play in the game on December 23rd against the Avalanche. To the point. Start shot. Misses wide. Freed up to O'Reilly. Trying to center. Pinballed off of a Niemi. Bounced out the center of and into the Colorado zone. Marlow. Pass slowed up by Benoit. Pass in front. Shot. And it is underneath the pads. Of Barlamov. Well, the Sharks crashed the net. They had a scoring chance, but Barlamov continues to sparkle. It's scoreless in the first. Welcome back to the Pepsi Center. It's scoreless between the Sharks and the Avs. We're the Patrick Wall right now. Patrick, these games are always tough and entertaining. Looks like we've got one of those again. What do you see out there? Well, right now, I thought we had a really good start. Sorry, we had a lot of good shots. I mean, I thought we moved the puck well in the old zone. I mean, this is a good team. This is a team play well defensively. Then I'm very happy with what I've seen so far. Thanks, Patrick. You're welcome. All right, Mike, back up to you. All right, thanks very much, Joy. Face off in the Colorado zone, Matt Duchesne against Joe Pavelski. Pavelski wins the draw, pulled it back to the point. Shot right on. That got through some bodies. Marlamov. Able to twist that puck away. Around by Thornton. No, he doesn't want to touch it. As, uh, it was played with a high stick. So finally the whistle blown. We'll have a face off. Well, Todd McLeod is club, Mike. There's right now, if you could say in the Western Conference, there are five elite clubs 
the Avalanche are hoping to be that sixth club. The Vancouver Canucks on the verge of joining that group also. But San Jose, Anaheim, that California group in Los Angeles, man, do they make it tough? Are they talented? Are they big? So again, this, this is just a, a fun afternoon of hockey. Maybe not if, you know, per se, if, if it's a situation, if you're, you know, one of the Avalanche players. But boy, oh boy, these got good hockey teams, good hockey players on both these teams. Just fun guys to watch. All right, we're ready to go. Yep. Pavelski taking the face off, Thornton right behind him, and Thornton with 41 assists in this season already. Game 41 for the Avalanche. Nice pass, shot by Burns, and bounced, and then cleared out by Johnson. Gipped in by Burns, came out of the zone, knocked back into the corner, goes back behind the net. Right there's a perfect example of what Thornton can find. Oh, amazing. Back to the point, Burns is there. Played quite a bit of defenseman in his career. He trips up uh, Duchesne. Play continues on. Puck is bounced in wide of Varlamov. Icing waved off, and that gives San Jose a chance. And Varlamov has got to make a save there on James Shepard. Here's Burns and McGinn, who were never teammates in San Jose. So this is just a battle between two guys. And but watch Thornton, Mike, just find the puck, find the puck, and all of a sudden, the guy is open for a split second. Now, Burns makes a great shot. But it takes just that, just a little bit of time to find that man that's open and make that quick pass for Thornton. Shepard's pass goes across. Stewart with the drive. That's blocked. McKinnon trying to get out of the zone, got stick checked. It's an injured Avalanche player, Nate Gennon, limping to the Colorado bench. Sharks have the puck. The red line into the end zone, and a good hit by Johnson. Puck comes back behind the net. Comes free, roll to the corner. Johnson for Colorado. His pass goes across the rink. Get back out to center. Shepard sends it on for McCarthy. And that is tipped out of play. And they get it right back in the lineup for the Avalanche. Oh, miserable way. But Mike, here is a, a unique club that Nate Ginnon is part of. 80 hits, 80 block shots. There are only five defensemen, all defensemen. You don't see any forwards in there. They're not that stupid to be blocking shots like that. But that is, Mike, that's paying the price, game in, game out. Glad that last block to the list, but maybe not one of Nate's favorites. That one had to hurt. Malone. Push the puck across the blue line, chasing it behind the net. Good hustle for Brad Malone. Sark reversed it back around, and Benoit's got to pinch in. Can he get there in time? He does. Pushes it into the corner. Sark get it again. Sent out the center by Demers, reeled in by Sark. Pass across. Benoit's pass tipped in. And Michael, no penalties so far. What does that enable both clubs to do? It's an afternoon game. First four here at the Pepsi Center. It, it lets everybody get into the game. It's the seven, now we're all everybody's legs are into it. Everybody's ready to, to go. Well, Peter, you, you don't expect many penalties from San Jose. They have the second fewest penalty minutes per game in the league. Oh, they, absolutely. They just, I mean, they're big, they're tough. They just don't take a lot of penalties. And it, it's just a, the style that they play. They play the body, but they do, don't put themselves into holes. The Avalanche, not that far behind San Jose. They're at 11 and a half minutes per game. In terms of penalty minutes. Thornton with the puck. Nice pass across the flats. They get pinched in too much. And the puck got past him. The cross for Boyle. Lobbed in, then it's a race to the corner. Marlow still with good speed. Mike, it's great speed. 16 years in the NHL, and he may be the fastest guy out there beside he and McKinnon. It's just amazing to watch him skate. Ten and a half to go in the period. Sure to the Colorado zone. A little support. Get him. Take him away. And O'Reilly skates up the ice. Oh, check. He came over the line. Couture makes the handoff to Marlow. Trying to use that speed to get in. Looks for the trailer. Couture's pass. And it went off the heel of the stick. 
And Varlamov able to make the save. Wow, Michael, I'll tell you, being down here at the ice level, you get an appreciation of just the speed. Mark, you see how far the defense went back up? You have to. You cannot stand up unless your gap is perfect. That distance between you and the forward is absolutely perfect. You got to give them the blue line. And once you give them the blue line, then you got to hope there's support, but you got to hope, you know. <laughs> you're, never, you're never sure, but you attack him, he's just going to go zoop, right around. Danger right in, winning the draw. Stewart keeps the puck in play. Put it in the corner. Kern. Takes a little on the boards. Peter, that Kern is a great story. Here's a guy who spent his whole career, 500 games in the American Hockey League, called up recently and got a goal, his first NHL goal at age 32. You talk about just keeping at it and finally living your dream. That's Bracken Kearns, how about that? It, it's, it's one of the stories that you and I absolutely love. It plays yeah. against his dad, Dennis Kearns, the Vancouver Canucks, an outstanding defenseman. Been around enough minor league players that hoping that they would fulfill that dream someday, and he's a great inspiration. Shot by Johnson, and Niemi makes the save. There's a lot of activity around him, and still going on with McLeod. Pushing, some shoving going back. And we get some separation, and we'll take a break. In Denver, no score between the Sharks and the Avalanche. All right, let's take a look at who is in the group, presented by Rube Subaru. Gabe Landeskog is in the group. He's a captain of this hockey club, and he stepped up and been big for the Avalanche. The first three games of the seven-game homestand, he had a game-tying assist on McKinnon's goal against Winnipeg, the game winner on a power play against Columbus, and the game-winning assist last game. Mike, that's, that's doing it. That's coming up to the big plays at the right time. Those game-winning assists, Probably one of the most underrated statistics. You know, but so many times, those are such key parts of clubs winning games. Those guys that make the big play, the big pass. And twice now, in this homestead, it's been the pass that has helped the Avalanche get one and two points. First long pass through center, tipped by Hannon. Johnson right back to O'Reilly. And direct to the corner, slapped around and behind the net. Played off the board, Thornton, handoff. Hannon quickly up the ice for Pavelski. Bounced away from him. Johnson back into the cross with nine minutes to play in the first period. No score in the game. Eight shots for the Sharks here in the first. Four for the Avalanche. Not going to be a surprise if the Sharks rack up a lot of shots. So they've had 50 shots or more four times this season. They lead the league in shots per game. Michael, you'd like to have them keep it, you know, keep them under 30. It's really hard. They, I mean, they, they pass the puck so well. I mean, any good team passes the puck well. They enter the zone with such, you know, offensive authority. Behind the net. Sharks with a chance. Shot by Boyle. Save made by Barlamov. Kick that away. That's a vice for McGinn. Oh! The puck came uh, over the line. Back in. The Avalanche were offside. Appliance, factory, outlet, and mattresses. 40% off year-end clearance going on right now through January 7th. You get 40% off thousands of new appliances at all 14 locations. Visit appliancefactory.com. Well, as he has done, as he does it whenever he can on the road, but certainly all the time at home, Patrick Watt matching lines, going over all the line combinations and giving his club that best chance. I mean, all, all teams do it, but Patrick Waugh really, he sticks with it all game. Mitchell line, that was uh, McKinnon. And McLeod, currently for the Avs. With work by McLeod. Load up that chance by Braun. That allows the Avs to transition offense. Shooting the puck into the San Jose zone. Braun will bounce back behind the net. Stewart sends the puck to center. That one kicked back into the Colorado zone. Like it was the bi a big play in this game, but Nate McKinnon's ability to understand his defensive role is really becoming evident. He didn't attack the puck as he would earlier in the season. He stayed back. He was that third guy high. Dumped in back behind the net. The corner and it's pinched in. Pass behind for Shepard. Hand off Desjardins. To the point, the mayor slides it across, hand and winds and shoots, missed. Well, tip by Malone sends the puck back in. Hannon retrieve the puck for San Jose. Pass for Dave Jardet, back to Hannon. Over to Mares and out to center ice. And 
return. So shoot the puck in to the corner. Benoit's got it for Colorado. We've got 6.45 to play in the first period. No score in this game. Gordon flying back out for San Jose. Push to center ice. Classic. Burns. And into the high slot. Boyle walks right in and shoots it wide and high. Boy, he had a lot of room to just come right down the slot. Thornton protecting the puck. Scoops it across for Boyle. Back for Thornton. Down the slot. And I was shooting around the boards. Over to the far side. Classic. Kicked it out between the circles. Held it at the point. Shot slowed up in front. Avalanche. Wouldn't control the puck initially. It does come out in the center ice for O'Reilly. He'll shoot it into the San Jose zone. I'll tell you, man, this is a well-played hockey game. There's good action, good passing. I mean, look at that pass right there, tape to tape, and all of a sudden, they're in the other zone. The Avalanche, the same thing at the other end. So it's just been, you know, a good game, and it's flying by. He hit him. Pass to the point. Shot by Braun, blocked by Talbot. The puck ricochets to center. In front of the shark bench. Tip the head. And Holden will angle over to get to the puck for Colorado. Johnson comes out of the pack, held up in the corner, makes a pass for Duchesne, a vice, Talbot, gave it right back to Duchesne, skates through center ice, skates in over the line, he has the puck, pass is broken up, there's going to be a penalty on San Jose. Matt Duchesne, his speed and tenacity draws a penalty, and when we return, Avalanche will get the first power play opportunity of the afternoon. Let's play a little Did You Know. Here's the question. What was the final score of the Avs' first game for San Jose? you got to go all the way back to December 5th of 1995. With the C1, 12 to 2. C2, 5 to 4. C3, a 3 nothing Avalanche win. Text your answer and maybe win some Avalanche tickets. Well, I give you the correct answer during the third period. The Avs going on the power play, and if they score, a lucky winner will get tickets to an upcoming game for a chance to win. You can register at afwonline.com slash altitude. Justin Braun with the penalty on San Jose. A two-minute minor for hooking at 14.44. And so power play number one for the Avalanche in their first meeting on December 23rd. Avalanche for one for three against the Sharks. This went on the power play. Mike Rion hated a little bit of power play time. Doesn't get an awful lot of that. No. He's already gone to the bench. Johnson, Benoit on the points. Stastny. Along with Landis Dog and right next to the net, Nathan McKinnon. Shot. Andre Benoit. McKinnon, I think, caused the screen in front. And the Avalanche score on the power play. And they lead the game one to nothing. And the Avalanche, Mike, I was watching it working on the far side. You see the key, Mike? Watch, look at the tape to tape passes. And I think I, it looks like it certainly bounced off of something on its way through. I'm not sure if Atlanta's dog, McKinnon, may have hit them both. But either way, the Avalanche were able to set that up. And Benoit, who didn't use the big slap shot, just a good, quick wrist shot. Gets it through, but five or six, Mike, tape-to-tape -tape passes led to that power play goal. And then a nice screen in front by McKinnon. And uh, given the goal to Nathan McKinnon. So the Avalanche with a power play goal. Lead it one to nothing. Duchesne bursts in. He's there. He shoots the rebound. Covered by the Emmy. Oh, a great rush and great follow-up by the Avalanche. Jamie McGinn going for third game in a row with a goal. But watch McGinn, left side of your screen, come into the picture, drive into the net as he has been doing. And I, Mike, did he? Watch Ma Jamie McGinn as he comes here, does everything right, but what is that hit? I think maybe Miami just got the pad back, but it had sort of a funny look to it. I'm not sure McGinn didn't get hurt with that with his skate as he was crashing through, but that's exactly
what the coaches want from Jamie McKinnon. Nathan McKinnon with another power play goal. And he leads rookies with five power play goals this season. Andre Benoit and uh, Paul Stasty with the assist on that power play goal. Benoit, Peter, every game this year when he has picked up a point, the Avalanche have won. Duchesne backhander blocked in front. McKinnon fires back to the point for Holden. His shot went off of Nieto. McKinnon again with it. He shoots. Boy, McKinnon looks like he is possessed today. <laughs> Oh, Michael, again, it's just, it's just fun. You see right now, unfortunately, Tomas Hurdle, the outstanding rookie for San Jose, is out, will be out, Mike, for a long time. They're saying six to nine months with a knee surgery, which is just awful for a young kid, anybody, but certainly for a young guy in his first year. But you're right. McKinnon is just, Mike, he's got that, that, that jump. And I'll tell you, when he's got jump, it's just, you know, like we said, a horror show for defensemen. And win the faceoff. McKinnon again with the puck. He's already scored, and he's really moving. Back to the point. Holden shot slowed up in front of the net. We got a stop and an injury. Desjardins with a puck to the face. He's going to the uh, Sharks locker room. Little, this is a little something about. Unfortunately, it looks like there was no panic on his face when he gets through. When, when he gets up, Mike, and the entire player gets hit in the eye. We've seen it, unfortunately, too many times. There's that panic. But believe it or not, he'll go in there, and he'll get stitched up as you watch him get hit. Like, they won't need Novocaine because it doesn't get – you don't need it until about five minutes later. So if they get to it right away, they'll just stitch him up, and he'll be back sooner than you think. For me, that'd be about, about a week. Yeah. I'd be on the IR. <laughs> what, what, what'd you have? Five stitches. What do you mean? <laughs> what a game we've got going so far this afternoon. One nothing lead for the Avs. And great tempo up and down. Both teams playing well here this afternoon. Freddie Hamilton moves the puck to the corner. Chases himself. A little help from McCarthy. Avalanche tangle that up in. It's Eric Johnson skating the center. Puts it down. In the track zone. Hamilton again with the puck. Shoots the center ice into the corner. Cross ice pass. Burn. Plays off the boards. And that is tipped into the Sharks bench out of play. Andre Benoit, Mike, who got hit. Right in the mouth. Mason fires the puck around him. Benoit said he's coming in. What happened was the caviar ducked, and, he, and that's when it got him. And he didn't wear the face mask last game. And the, <laughs> the Philadelphia player gave him the old face wash. So he put it back on, but the guys were sort of saying, was it Mason shot? He said, no, it was Ally Afraidy shot. It hit me in the mouth. <laughs> of course, Ally Afraidy, for people who don't know, maybe the hardest shots ever in the history of the game. So that's how much it hurt. <laughs> Johnson ducks back behind the net. And two minutes to go in this first period. Landis Scott's pass to center. Into the circle. Burns. Pavelski. Pavelski with the puck. Flipped in. Morton line going off. That gives the Avs a chance on the line change to get into the San Jose zone. A bounce out in front. And still bouncing around the, the Carice area. Quick pass up Vice. Marlowe breaks the end. Back hander saved by Varlomo. We've seen a lot of speed in this game. Was that a race? Was that a hockey race between two of the fastest guys you're going to see? That's Marlowe and Duchesne coming down. And Duchesne does a nice job. Marlowe could only go to the backhand there. Because Duchesne took away Marlowe's ability to cut across to his forehand. As when the draw. Swoop that to center. And we got a hand pass call. Of another face off in the neutral zone. One for Jamie McGinn. Of course, he played for Todd McCall, but Jamie McGinn, Mike, you know, he's he got eight goals now. Today is the, exactly the halfway point of the season. A solid season for him is 20 goals. I mean, that, that is a good, solid season. So 
playing with Duchesne, playing the way that he's playing. The coaches are hoping the first time this year he scored goals in back-to-back -back games. That will continue because Mike, when he's on, he, he goes to those tough areas, and not everybody does. And we just saw him just down at that, that end, Mike, right in the crease, getting banged, getting whacked. So I mean, it's, it's, it's what he needs to do, and he knows it's what he needs to bring to stay on the line, to stay on the top scoring lines. Two games in a row with a goal. Moving to that line. Luxury has an address. Cody Lexus invites you to see the full line of Lexus all-weather drive sedans and luxury utility vehicles for 2014. They're available at Cooney Lexus of Greenwood Village and Colorado Springs. They're still working on the net area. There you can see it's happening. That's the Colorado end of the ice. Looks like the repair has been made successfully, and we're prepared for the faceoff. Well, Michael, this has been... You know, I'm not sure exactly on the actual clock how long this period took, but I'm not sure we've seen any faster as far as just continue, continuous play. Underway again. So the final minute of the period. Well, I'm on. Takes the puck back up the wall. Club down by Marlon. That is the side of the net. And work behind. Wrap ground. Stopped by Barlamov. Tip to the corner. Sure. Works the puck along the end board. Nieto. Way back to the point. Stewart shot. And that deflected. It's still free in the crease. Turned off the boards and out by the Avalanche. Quick pass. And then Nieto gets hit by Holden. Takes away the puck. Shoots it out to center right. Oh, no. Off the Talbot, so no icing. One thing Boyle. to say. Go ahead, Peter. I was going to say, one thing that San Jose does that the Avalanche have been working at doing is when in doubt, put the puck on net. Every time San Jose is in there in a situation where maybe there's no quick pass, it goes right on net with everyone driving. And that's what Patrick Waugh has been working on his club. You, know, you don't have to find that perfect picture play all the time. That's what Coach Waugh said a couple of games ago, that maybe the Avalanche were working on too much, trying to be just perfect and making the terrific play. When, as you said, just get it to net, see what happens. Well, the Avs got one to the net. Went through a uh, screen of McKinnon and actually glanced off of him. And it goes by the Emmy, and that's the difference right now in our game. one nothing Colorado. Just a high tempo, well-played first period between both of these clubs, Mike. The passing, there are so many just good tape-to-tape -tape passes, 5, 10, 15, even 30-foot passes by both these clubs. And another outstanding period from Semyon Varlamov, 10 saves. In the first period, the only goal scored by Nathan McKinnon and came on the power play. Next on Altitude is the Toyota Intermission Report. Avalanche used the only power play during the first period. Nathan McKinnon had to go off of his body, past the Emmy, and now tied for the lead in the NHL rookie scoring race. Nathan McKinnon gets the job done. You talk about his speed, but you know, we saw other players during that first period that had a lot of speed. This was a fast, fast, not only played game, but skating game during that first period. Oh, absolutely. Like, the better the team, the quicker you are. That's just the world of hockey as we know it right now. But when you're watching Matthew Shane, a couple of things to look for. One, the movement of the feet. He was just moving his feet the entire period. But, Michael, the other thing, and he talked about it, it's interesting. You know, waking your body up, making sure that you're ready for a 1 o'clock start. This is not your normal time. And you saw, great job by Duchesne. And here, he just keeps Marlowe, who, I mean, was just barreling down. But he couldn't cut in front. Good job at the end, defensively, for Duchesne. But boy, Mike, was he moving his feet in that first period. And uh, they changed the scoring, so it's now McKinnon from Landeskog and Benoit. So, or no, excuse me, now it's McKinnon from Benoit, and now they changed it back. <laughs> so they originally they had given Landeskog an assist, now they've taken it back away. So it is back to the original scoring of McKinnon from Benoit and Stanley after they reviewed that goal during the intermission. Nonetheless, still stands at 1-0 for the Avs. We start our second period play. Center ice shot in by 
Boyle. Alamo handling the puck behind the net, but the referee out in the neutral zone has stopped the play. And it's going to be a penalty on Joe Thornton. Doesn't rise to Mr. Interference. Thornton was in the box for interference, Mike, and now the Avalanche, who had great movement that night, first power play. Get an opportunity now. No, this is a different group that scored that, that group that scored the first goal for the Colorado Avalanche, Mike, but it's the same philosophy. They will use the same basic power play. San Jose penalty, number 19. Well, Thornton in the penalty box. Avalanche on the power play. O'Reilly dashing after the puck. Sent to the near side circle for Duchesne. Handoff goes to O'Reilly. To Duchesne at the half boards. Flips it back for Benoit. Far side. Fake on the one-timer. Then back around the perimeter for Duchesne. Benoit shot down low. Blocked and cleared out by Couture. And the puck into the Colorado zone. One difference with this group, Mike, they come off the right wall. The other group comes off the left wall. Again on the ice for the Avalanche, joining O'Reilly and Duchesne. Holden, Johnson back at the points. Pavelski along the shot down the ice. Rolls to the corner, Marlowe laid it up the board for Pavelski to take. Centered it across. The Avalanche Paul Stastny back to retrieve. Skate to the red line. Passed over the line into the San Jose zone for McKinnon. Stools made it 1 0 Colorado. Pass, Landis got shot right into Niemi. Great scoring chance for Landis Gog. Good play by Stastny getting that puck down low. Finds Landis got coming through the scene. Landis got just well. But after that play was over, a couple little pokes and shoves. If you're the rookie, you're going to get tested. They're bumping into McKinnon right there, and he just was like, no, 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 no. Don't try that. It's not going to bother me. Thornton was called for interference at 23 seconds. This sets the abs up on this power play chance. 20 seconds left in that Thornton penalty. Holden's pass through the middle. Carried in by McKinnon. Steps across. He shoots. And that caught to Niemi. Backhand try. Another save by Niemi. And classic. Smashes the puck into the Colorado zone and as the penalty on Thornton expires. The Avalanche one for two this afternoon. But again, good movement, good opportunities on that power play. That's his pass for Holden. Stick handling through. Gets his line for McLeod. Flicks it into the San Jose zone. Pavelski will pick up. Heads out to center ice. The red line. Hammered in by Thornton. Again, and has the puck through the end. Pass to center ice. Comes to the red line. And handed. Send it right back into the avalanche zone. one nothing Colorado. Early going. Second period. And we've gotten an offside play on the San Jose Sharks. Stopping the action here in the second period. And we're watching McKinnon. The defenseman for San Jose stepped up, Mike, just a, just a, just a stride. And when McKinnon saw that, he just took off. And the defenseman did a nice job to just bounce back, get himself, and not allow McKinnon to be wide open. Ron did a real good job staying up with a very fast Mason McKinnon. Well, this afternoon game, here at Pepsi Center, the first of four afternoon games we played on home ice for the Colorado Avalanche. Michael, here's something interesting. Felicia Scott is, is off the ice. McKinnon is at center on this fourth line. And you wonder, is it just because he's flying today and Coach Wall wants to get him a little extra ice time? Here's a turnover and a chance. And then it's stopped by Barlamo. Oh, he had to be alert. All of a sudden, a scoring chance there for the Sharks. Desjardins knocked down by Gennon. The first period, Desjardins 
hit in the face with the puck. Hayda slapped to the corner. Cut off by Desjardins. He gets hit, then Hayda turned it up off the boards. Tip to center ice. Pass ahead for Bordelon. He cuts in, his shot deflects wide. Malone muscling after the puck to the corner. Comes Frave. Duchesne backhander saved by Niemi. Duchesne with a great chance. Now the Avalanche right now, Mike, are playing really well. Again, this is this is a club San Jose. You have to keep in front of you. You can't let them get behind you. You can't let them have that speed. But the Avalanche right now are getting scoring opportunities. 12 shots on goal for San Jose, Mike, but they had eight real early in this hockey game. So the Avs have really clamped down defensively. You said, Peter, that the Avs have got to stop the Thornton line. It's been pretty rare and great scoring chances during this game so far. Oh, absolutely. When the Thornton line is going, what you'll find is that you start running around. You're, you're all over the place defensively. You're never set because it just doesn't seem like you're, the puck's anywhere near where it should be. Great in here because he controls things so well. Duchesne against Couture for the faceoff. There is Joe Thornton. And against the Avalanche, he's on an 11 game yeah. point streak against Colorado. In fact, he's got 49 points in 40 games career wise against the Avs. Alvin skates to center. Shoots the puck in. Gives chase. Boyle. Got it back. Turned over. McGinn steals and scores! Three games in a row with a goal for Jamie McGinn. A little poke check and then a quick snapshot. And McGinn gets his ninth of the year. The Ads lead two to nothing. Getting frustrated, Mike, because he's getting chances. Well, the last three games, he's been able to blow them up. A little bit. Nice. Kind of one of those plays you wish you hadn't made if you're the San Jose Sharks. You lose a puck right in front of the net, right here. You know, that's just, it, you know, just one of those plays that you know, a defensive like ball just doesn't make very often. The Avalanche capitalize on it and begin just a perfect shot. Or, as you said, Michael, three and three games. Eight is past the center for Johnson. Off of Landeskog. Pushes to the red line. Hayda snaps the puck to the corner. Stewart. Shift out to center. Thornton lobs the puck into the Colorado zone. Spike back up the far side. Smash back behind the avalanche net. Johnson's pass is cross ice. It's a bit too far for Landeskog, but O'Reilly will get to it. The staff the over the line for Landeskog. His shot sails wide. Johnson holds at the point. Bounce it! It's 3 0. Eric Johnson! That puck took a funny hop when it landed, and it got by the Emmy, and the ads are up 3 0. And there is some action. There's going to be a goaltending change for the San Jose Sharks, Peter. Yeah. Michael, this is just one of those ones. You can fire the puck from the point, a blistering slap shot, a hundred times and never score. And then you throw one in on a hop. And when you're hot, you're hot. For Eric Johnson now, Mike, 10 points in his last 10 games for the Colorado Avalanche. And he, like he just throws. Throws it on that now, Michael. It, it's it drives home a point, and you know you're you're taking advantage of a, a funny bounce. But this is what Patrick Wall was talking about. You know, the puck comes out, just get it on net. You know, you you never know if the puck's going to come. It's going to be a rebound. Alex Daylock comes in, and now the one thing about San Jose that you do know is that they play tomorrow night in Chicago. So if, it, if the puck is just not bouncing your way, you know, some, some nights, Mike, you just don't push it. You just say, okay, let's get to the other guy. Maybe he gives us a little spark. Eric Johnson. He is on a four-game point streak. 
Landis God will get an assist on this one. And he's on a six game point streak as we look at the summary. Seventh goal of the season for Eric Johnson at 5.45. McKinnon scores! It's 4 nothing. his second goal. What a look on his face as he celebrates. First shot for Stadlock and that one goes in. And the Avalanche immediately pounce on the new goaltender and lead the Sharks. Can you believe it? 4 nothing here in the second period. Like, I, I, I'm looking down the bench as McKinnon breaks into the zone on that play. Michael, it, every once in a while, a player will make a play where the whole bench goes, holy cop. They turn towards you. Players will turn and look at each other. Coaches will turn and look at each other. Well, you, knew, you, you knew this was going to happen. All right, here we go. We got a little battle going on at center ice. A couple of different dance partners. Again, in, in a wrestling match with one of the Sharks, Kearns and McLeod. Was the Sharks Spear the Mitchell right off the hop? Now McLeod is still drawn at. Kearns is there, scored it. Now Desjardins going into the box. Look how angry that Cody McLeod is. Well, there was some pushing and some shoving, Mike. Listen, you would, Mike, you would see the same sort of reaction for the Avalanche if they were in a game. Yeah, they're right there. I mean, Desjardins just... Yeah, McLeod didn't like that at all. Well, I'm sure Mitchell didn't, <laughs> didn't like Mitchell, it. Mitchell wasn't thrown either. No, he wasn't real happy with that. Watch it again here. Watch it again. Here comes the stick. They're showing the replay so you can hear the groans from the crowd. And then the booing of Dave, they're showing Dave Jardin on the big screen, and that's where the booing is coming from. So there you see Dave Jardin and Kearns in the San Jose penalty box. There's it. Wait the official word on what exactly the penalties are going to be. Two sharks are in the box. McLeod is in the box for the Avalanche. So there are five Avalanche players, four for the Sharks. The two minors called on San Jose. Each of those uh, players you see receiving a two-minute minor penalty. McLeod gets a minor. So it's power play number three for the Avalanche. One for two. Yeah, it, it was Kearns and McLeod go off and the initial penalty to Desjardins. Down. The, time, the Johnson McKinnon goals only 14 seconds apart. And the Avalanche go up four to nothing. Now on the power play. Duchesne throws to the near side. And they're calling Duchesne for a penalty. Calling for roughing. And he's going to argue this uh, all the way into the penalty box. See, what happened on the play, Mike, as you can see, is Duchesne lifted the stick of Couture, and Couture's stick went up into his face. But now it's composure time. Like, now it's composure. You're up for nothing. You're not the club that wants things to go crazy. You're San Jose. You want things to get a little wild, a little wacky. Maybe you get an extra power play here or there. But if you're the Avalanche, control, control, control right now. 
Four on four hockey after the roughing penalty called on Duchesne. Shot by Johnson. And that one went wide to the net. Played back up for Johnson to the point. Slapped around. Marlon. Pass out to center ice. Cut off by Johnson. Pass over to Hayda. Return to Johnson. Nice move around Marlowe by Eric Johnson. Boy, is he having a game. Eric Johnson, shot tip. Not goal by McGinn, but Stalock made the save. Back to the blue line for Stasty. Check, knocked down by Burns. Stasty got right back up. Makes the pass for Starch. Chopped away from him and Blastic for San Jose. 20 seconds. Left in the Desjardins penalty. And 52 seconds to go in Duchesne's penalty. For the Avalanche, 14 seconds apart. McGinn, Johnson, and the Avalanche lead. Well, Nate McKinnon on his mom's birthday has a couple of goals, Mike. And right now the Avalanche are going to be on, on the penalty. They're going to kill a penalty in about, what, 10, 15, or 15 seconds or so. It's not a long one. It'll be about 40 seconds, 37, 40 seconds, Mike, for the big one. Because this, this San Jose club, this is a boys club. This is an experienced hockey team. It's a little mayhem going on here right now inside of, you know, both benches. There's some, some real anger. So you, you want to, Mike, you want to control this and just make sure that you're on top of your game. Wins the faceoff. Ten seconds left. Desjardins standing up, ready to come out. Pass over the line. Here's Babelski cutting in, and he got hooked. There'll be a penalty on the Avalanche. So for 37 seconds, the Sharks will have a five on three. This is I don't like a little more than a hook, Mike. I think this is just one of those ones you take when you're just trying to stop the man from being on the breakaway. Caller number 18, Mr. Slashing. Pavelski does a nice job of um, taking that from his body, Mike, down to the ice. That is John Hayda. The Avalanche certainly love to have out there on a five on three, but he's in the penalty box joining Cody McLeod. Who is, well, excuse me, McLeod has come out. Duchesne still has time to serve on his penalty. Oh, Mike Big. Thornton won that clean, but the man had just pulled in. This is a big five on three right here. 37 seconds worth to the line. Couture in the slot for Boyle. Five on three, Sharks. Duchesne and Hayda in the penalty box for the Avs. With 15 seconds left in Duchesne's penalty. Boyle cutting to the front. He shoots, saved by Barlamov. Played three for Thornton. His pass down low. Shot scored by Pavelski, and he got it with two seconds left in Duchesne's penalty. So the Sharks will stay on the power play. You know, you look out there, Mike, and they had fresh bodies. That's just so much skill. That is just a lot of skill to be on the ice. And, you know, they, this now becomes, okay, they, you score one. And, and that's going to happen on, Mike, five on threes in these situations. But those two seconds are so important because now, Mike, it's a minute and 25 of a five-on-four situation where San Jose knows. Like, you get one here, they're right back in it. And it's the same group on the ice for San Jose that's just scored in the five-on-three. Yeah, I mean, there's still 11.25 to go in the second yep, period. Absolutely. And this is a club that scores goals. So Hayda in the box. Duchesne now available with a minute 25. We go in the Hayda penalty. The Sharks this season against the Avs, three for five on power plays this season. Pavelski, 18th goal of the season. From Marlowe and Thornton, that's a pretty powerful trio there. They've been doing a long time for this hockey club. One minute left in Hayda's penalty. Boyle. Drops it behind him. Pavelski over the line for Marlowe. Tip to Couture. Back to Marlowe. Tap to the corner. Ben Walsh. Go off the glass and got it out. Boy, he placed that perfectly. Go off the glass. 
Nice job by Benoit. Very relaxed. They can put a lot of pressure on you in a hurry. He just took it and fires down the ice. Belsky to the red line. Shot in on Varlamov. Forced to direct it wide. Couldn't hold that one. Sent around the boards. And nice clear by Talbot. So far, so good on this penalty kill. And that's what right there. That's why they love Talbot here. They call him a hit. Took a big hit to make that play. Another rush for the Sharks. Classic. Nails it around the boards. Burns. Couple of Avalanche players on him. He's enough precious time. That's happened. Just keep it against the board. Finally worked three. And the power play is done. One shot during that power play opportunity. Another penalty coming up on the Avalanche. Another penalty. Delay call. Pads in the slot. Far side shot. Score! And it is four to two. A delay penalty. They called on the Avalanche. They did get the extra man out there. And the extra and man was Marlow, Mike. And guess who scores the goal? This is a, this is a funny looking play. I, from where I saw it, Mike, it looked like the Avalanche player sort of tripped up. But you can see why the referee makes that call. The puck was not there yet. But here's the goal. It was Marlow coming off the bench right there. It handcuffed him a little bit, but he got it on net. Boy, Mike, we, we knew we'd see an exciting game. <laughs> and here we go again. It's 4-2 now. The last time these two clubs played, it was 5-4. But, Peter, you made a wonderful point about you're up 4 nothing. That was the time for the Avs to stay in control at that point. Uh, again, all, all learning situations mm -hmm. because a club like San Jose, Mike, they know what to do when they're down by a couple of goals. Or, you know, you... You change your goaltender, you get things going. And, you know, there's a little push and shoving. And all of a sudden, there's some penalties called. Some They get a five on three. They get a, then a six on five goal. And that's four to two. And for the avalanche now. Yeah, what do you do now? Now you call right out. Yeah. You calm it down. I mean, you get out of this period at least just four two. And, you know, you're still up by two the avalanche. Are terrific in third periods when they go in with the lead. So, you know, you, you manage this part of the game. You've got a half a period left, a really good defensive half period, because they've been really good defensively in this hockey game. Deppard takes a hit, gets the puck out of the zone. Now the Sharks, first 14 shots of this game, they didn't have any goals, but they've had two goals in the last three shots. Johnson's pass. Broken up and backhanded out by the Sharks, who are called for icing. Well, for Patrick Marlowe, Mike, as we talked about, he first his first goal, Mike, if I'm not mistaken, talking to San Jose people in an exhibition game, he was just 17 years old. He was the second year pick in the draft the first year. I mean, when Joel Thornton was the first pick. So they were the same draft year, first and second pick overall. 16 years he's been doing it for San Jose and doing it brilliantly. Another scramble for the puck along the boards. Held long enough to draw a whistle. And we'll be back. Oh. Wow, what a crazy period. We've had five goals already in the second period. And lead by two. My favorite part of hockey are situations. Situations inside of games where you need someone to step up and really take control. And for the Avalanche, that guy of late, has been Semyon Varlamov, who has been brilliant all three games of the homestand. And now he knows, okay, they've got, they got a couple. They're a good hockey club. They're going to score some goals. Shut them up. The rest of this period. Make a, if there has to be a big save to be made, you got to make it. You, you cannot make this a one-goal game, because that's allowing San Jose to crawl too close inside of this second period. So for, if it comes a situation for Varlamov, you got to shut him down. Pass by hand into center. Turns into the red line. Spins that puck around into the Colorado zone. What a second period. It's one nothing for the Avalanche. After one, and they have added three, four nothing, cruising, and then five on three goal and a six on five goal for San Jose. Close the gap. They have still up four to two. Freddie Hamilton gets through the far face off circle, moves out towards center. 
Pass to Bice, tipped in by Kearns. McCarthy, Thornton with the puck, pass back to the point, slid across for Vlasic. He shoots. Oh, he was actually looking for a pass to Thornton. Back to the point for Vlasic. High in the slot for Thornton. His shot blocked by Stastny. One pass to center for O'Reilly. The Sharks team has won five of the last six games. Avalanche has won two games in a row. Burns with a steal. And his backhand pass deflected. Landeskog shoots the puck into the Sharks zone. And they have to call that for icing. All right, let's go ringside, check in with Julie Brown. You guys talking about sending Varlamov. Well, Tom McClellan, the head coach of the Sharks, a big fan of Varley. He says he exudes confidence from the crease. He allows his team to make an occasional mistake. He also added that with his, with his talent and Patrick Watts' insight to the position that other coaches don't have, Varley is an extremely tough challenge for the Sharks, guys. Thank you, Julie. Sharks put 18 shots on Varlamov in this game. Two have gotten by. Sharks have made a goaltending change themselves during this game. Saved again by Varlamov. Plant of God for the Avalanche. To the corner, played back to the point. Braun, Rister, deflected off of Varlamov. Avalanche O'Reilly. Backhand pass to center for Stastny. Off the board, Braun makes the steal. Pass for Gatcher. Poke check by Johnson. And the puck bang back into the circle. Braun carries in. Down the middle. He shoots. Knocked down. Barlonov doesn't see the puck. It's bouncing. And the whistle's been blown. He made the save, but it appeared as if he couldn't find then where the puck was. And we see Talbot getting very upset. He's trying to go at it with Desjardins. They're going at it. And a left by Desjardins. They fall back towards the boards. And the linesman going to have to try to peel those two away from each other. Just watching, Michael. I'm watching the benches for both of these clubs. Because the key Better will be, is there anything extra? No matter if a couple guys have a fight, Mike, that's going to happen inside of a hockey game. So is anybody going to get an extra two? And all the referees just putting up five and five. All right, so our Boy. face off in the uh, Colorado zone. Michael, for first period, it was just a well played, very quick. Let's get, you know, great Let's play some hockey here. <laughs> Holy cow, this second period has just gone crazy. Five goals. You get a fight. You get a spearing right at the, right at a face off at center ice. Starts with the face off. Pass to cross, and rolls it around. Boyle drops the puck in the corner for Hamilton. So Hamilton and Desjardins each receiving five minute majors for fighting. Benoit drops the puck around, and then. And the Avalanche called for icing. Wind Avalanche tickets complements of Excel Energy. You can get your power meter number and go to altitude.tv. Click on the Excel Energy icon for energy saving tips and enter for a chance to win. No purchase is necessary. See official rules at altitude.tv. Like a quick face off, Thornton's line on the ice. This is, again, one of those situations the Avs need to get an entire group off the ice. Win on the draw, back to the point. Burns. It's free. His shot blocked by Sarch. Comes loose for Thornton with that long reach. Back to the point. Slid across for Vlasic. He winds. Then he shoots. Missed the net. Back around for Demers. Back to Thornton. Just kept it in at the blue line. Drives the puck to the corner. Sarch shoots it around the boards. Blocked by Burns. The half board gives to Thornton. To Burns. Behind the net. Quinn connect with Kowalski. Demers kicks it in. Drops the puck in the corner. 
punch back to the half boards. Kicked at by Demers. San Jose, the puck comes free. Marlowe just onto the ice. Has the puck. Going to sidestep around Mitchell. Mitchell stays with him. The pass back to the point by Thornton. The shot! And that one stopped by Barlamar. And then cleared out by the Avalanche. On the backboard, Braun. After the middle of the change. Long pass for Marlowe down the slot. Oh, that was a close play. Tipped into the corner. Good sure. Freed it up for Marlowe. Back in front. The Adam. Good sure. Centers. Nobody there. And coming back for the puck. Stewart from San Jose. Pass out the center. And the puck will come into the Colorado zone. 445 remaining in the second period. 4 2 lead for the Avalanche. McKinnon. Two goals in this game. The 11th and 12th of the season. Leot came in relief. The starter in the Emmy here in the second period. Turns the puck around. Carried to center by McCarthy. Over the line for Shepard. His pass picked off. Back to Kearns in center. Sharks get back on side. Avalanche control the puck. Back from center. Tipped in. Pass lifted out to center ice. Uh, San Jose now they're starting to maybe double shift Thornton's line a little bit here, Mike. 3.45 to go in the period. And that puck comes over the glass and has gone out of play. What a second period we've had here in Denver. Avalanche lead it four to two. Well, Nathan McKinnon, Mike, right now, there's two goal hockey games. And, and he's, the, he's the difference. His two goals right now have the Avalanche ahead. Four to three. Four to two, pardon me. And Mike, from your angle upstairs, that one, that one must, must have looked very, very nice. Boy, it sure did, Peter. It was the speed of McKinnon coming in. And then... Uh, just a wonderful shot. And what a period we've had, Peter. 21 shots combined, five goals, 22 penalty minutes. But it's been the intensity that went from a, you know, it was a, it was a very well played period as we talked about the first period. All of a sudden it got nasty and there's some stuff going on. We got another whistle. Face this, off coming back into the strike zone. And Michael, this is game 41 for the Colorado Avalanche. You know, they're obviously the halfway point of an 82-game schedule. But every single game that you're playing now that, that has this kind of feel is so important for the Avalanche. It's only going to get more intense as, as the season goes along and the points become more important. And so for the Avalanche, and through the coaching staff, and even the players, you love this. I mean, this, this, is, this is what hockey is supposed to be. It's supposed to be tough. It's supposed to test you. You're supposed to have to make big plays at big times. And for the fans, Peter, this has really been oh. entertaining. It's fun to watch. Hate him. Long pass. Nasty. Poke check. As he came over the line. Got up center ice. Picked up by Pavelski over the line. Good work defensively by Landis Scott. Oh. Back out in the center. Played ahead by Vlasic. Through the middle. Kicked across. the end Sure. Back for Braun. Just kept it in. Long pass for Stewart. Wrist shot tip in front. Sends the puck high. Sure. Puck centered out in front. Off of Marlowe. Avalanche had the puck. Shifted the other way. Put off the boards. Back into the Colorado zone. Fired out the center. Stewart blocked it. Sharks have to get on side. They do. Backhand across by Johnson. McKinnon's pass for Duchesne. He's in. He shoots. Missed on the short side. Hamilton gets the red line. Chased down by Duchesne. He flew back defensively. Mike, even the line changes are getting like quicker and faster. Guys beside me to my left here, just diving into the box to get off the ice. He didn't want to get caught. Up from center ice by Benoit. Stuck behind the net. Stay locked. 
scooped it around the glass, but the puck has gone out of play. Penalty. Penalty on the goalie. Appliance factory outlet and mattresses, 40% off year-end clearance going on right now through January 7th. You get 40% off thousands of new appliances at all 14 locations. Visit appliancefactory.com. Or penalty. All on the Sharks. Shepard will serve the penalty. And the Avalanche. Oh, Michael. Get the fourth power play opportunity. Here's, here's Strangle whole time right here. You're up by two. Big play here, Mike. You're headed with a three-goal lead. And you really popped the bubble for the San Jose Sharks. To the point, and a good win on the faceoff. Start this power play for the Avalanche. Deflection, and the puck has gone out of play. They're saying too many men on the ice. I thought that the goalie, I apologize, I thought they'd shot the puck over the glass. On the faceoff, comes free. Marlow puts it out to center ice. Hold it. Now Benoit with the puck carries out to center. The red line slapped in wide of the net. The play stops. 133 left in the Sharks penalty. 119 to go in the period. I see just a little different look for the Avalanche on this power play. You're going with the solid defensive player there, Ojeda and Johnson. Like you want to make no mistakes. They're, you know, they're obviously solid enough offensively, but defensively you want to be strong too. You're, you're right. you're Eric Johnson leaving his way in. Nice move. Back to the point. Hate it. On the drive, and that is stuck. Final minute of the second period. McCarthy trying to hold the puck against the board. Johnson, Hayden, the Avalanche trying to work it free, and it does finally come to Duchesne. 45 seconds to go in the period. The line for McGinn to the point. Johnson, pass, picked off. On pass, Desjardins. He's finished serving that five-minute major and fighting. Shoots off the glove of Barlamov. O'Reilly to center right, Marlow. Keeping up, pass back behind, comes out of the zone, offside Colorado. Hey, look at the Western Conference, Mike. You see, look for Colorado Avalanche. We talk about that big five, and of course, Vancouver. Look at the Avalanche right now. They're right there with LA. Look how important this game is to keep up with those clubs. That's where they want to be, Mike. They want to keep up with the top clubs in the entire Western Conference, you want to stay ahead, certainly of Minnesota and Dallas, that third place at least in that, you know, in that central division. With the puck, Stewart off the boards, gets it down the ice. This bird is running out. The Avalanche still have not had a shot on net during the power play. There's the horn. What a crazy period it was. Yeah, Mike, entertaining as, as you'd want to have. Absolutely. You know, that was that was the hockeyest period. <laughs> <laughs> what? Exactly. Is that even a word? But I mean there was just there was just stuff going on all over the place. You had a goaltender change. You saw, you know, the Avalanche pull ahead four, four nothing. You give an experienced town the club come back. But then the avalanche really clamped down. That was the impressive part of the last half of that period. San Jose didn't take control of the game. It was the avalanche were still solid defensively. McGinn, Johnson, and McKinnon scoring for the avalanche. Pavelski and Marlowe scored for the San Jose Sharks during the second period. 4-2 abs after two. Next is the Subaru intermission report. Colorado Avalanche Hockey on Altitude is brought to you by Groove Subaru. On Broadway or online at GrooveAuto.com. Pepsi. Live for now. 
and by the Ford Super Duty. Built stronger, built better, built Ford tough. What a crazy, crazy second period we watched. Five goals. Avalanche now lead the game four to two. And the Avalanche, Peter, leading after two periods this season, 22-0 and one. Third straight game to leading after two. But, boy, did we see a lot of action during the, that first two periods, including two goals within 14 seconds for Colorado. And, Michael, sometimes teams just match up in a certain way. And it seems to be the Eastern Club match up with goal. We saw last game, the Az were down 3-2. Well, 12 seconds, then turned it from 3-2 to a 4-3 lead. They eventually lost that lead late. But they got those two quick goals. And tonight, I think mean, Johnson's goal, that's the funniest one. That's the funniest goal of the year as far as the bounce. And there's one of the most beautiful ones, the goal by McKinnon. And, Michael, it, it just sets up a really interesting, fun third period. The intensity is there, like maybe no game that we've seen this year. The defense now has to be solid because this is a San Jose Shark club, Mike, that can throw 20 shots at you if you let them get going. A lot of pressure on the defenseman and certainly the goaltender, but the forwards have got to be smart. Here we go. Third period begins. A little bit of time left on the Avs. Fourth power play chance today. Shot by Johnson. Tipped over the glass and out of play. Well, Mike, that's interesting. There's two seconds to go. Had that... That puck been wrapped around a man with it out of the box. Now it's going to take him about six, seven seconds to get actually back into the play. So quick draw. The Avalanche still have a little bit of a man advantage on this faceoff. I mean, if Stastny wins the draw back to Johnson, he can hit Hayda on the far side because the man in the box cannot get back. Puck is dropped, and a win. Shot by Johnson, kicked out by Stalock. And the puck pops into the corner of the Colorado zone. So that power play done for the Avs. They are one for four oh, this afternoon. Oh. Hate his pass through the middle. Results in a nice and cool on the Avs. If you're looking for a great car, check out the all-new Kias. Visit ColoradoKiaDealers.com. Discover Kia's full lineup of high-quality, stylish, and dependable vehicles at ColoradoKiaDealers.com. Mike, this, you, you, you gotta love this game, the intensity. Kachuria wanted the face up on the other dot because he, he's better on that dot in this situation. And the puck does come out in the center. And he's back, so Vice, sit back for Boyle, and Boyle's pass, and up the middle for the chair, stripped away, and off goes to Benoit, he gives to Hayda, up for Duchesne, and the puck had uh, been played out of, the, uh, out of the little area there, and I guess maybe touched by one of the San Jose players leaning over the bench. Whatever reason, they've stopped the play while the face off in the neutral zone. Off the draw, Avalanche win the face off. And one. Left the puck was slowed up, caused the play to be offside. And for the San Jose Sharks, the Avalanche have tomorrow off before they play home again against Calgary in game five of the seven game homestand. But tomorrow night, this club, Mike, goes into Chicago. And. And again, another one of those fun matchups between two high-powered offenses. Yeah, that, that should be a very, very fun game to watch. Got by Marlowe, goes wide. Put up off the boards. Turn to center. Set right back into the San Jose zone. Pass down the ice. There's another whistle. I see a call. Time for What's on Tap, presented by Coors Light. Monday night, the Avalanche back in action will be hosting the Calgary Flames. We'll start at 6.30, right here on Altitude Sports. Get to center ice, bumps the puck into the Avs zone. Down the boards. 
stuff behind the net. Be like. And that puck dribbles free. Slammed up the board. Blocked. Back to center ice. The car on the zone. Burn stick goes flying. Puck is lifted back to the San Jose zone. The Mariners got there in time. Counter by McKinnon. Then Demers and McLeod will scuffle. Meanwhile, Horton carrying the puck in and preceded by Burns. San Jose is offside. Well, for Cody McLeod, 15 minutes. He had the most minutes he's had in any one game this season, last game. Like, this is one of those plays right here. First period early in the game, wrong time of the game. Maybe you, you come back a little bit. No, not now. You just, you just, you hold it, you wait. And that's it. There's no retaliation penalties now. They turn that four to look. Battle for the puck. Kicks along the far side. Order Portolo has it. Turns and shoots. Saved by Stilock. Up by Malone goes wide. Get into the corner for Portolo. Drives the puck behind the net. Braun trying to get away from Malone. But pushed out to center. Portolo, pass over to Cleese. Shoot the puck in, and the Avalanche make a line change. Good shift by that fourth line for the Avalanche. Solid, kept the puck down low. Eight up, 40 seconds. Out comes Duchesne's line. At the center. Tip. Vienna will have the puck. Cuts the front of the net. Pass to the front. That one slipped away. And Couture cutting right in front of the net. We got a whistle. And a stop and play. Kind of a little bit of a stop and start yes, to this third period. Exactly, Michael. Good call. The first period was all about flow. It was a wonderfully played period as far as the pass. The second period had all of this, you know, wild sort of stuff happening here. Nothing's really started yet through the first three minutes of this period. Probably for the Avalanche, that's just fine, isn't it? In terms of you don't want San Jose to get it going. No, absolutely. We'll spend all the whole period in the neutral zone. We'll, we'll take 100 faceoffs. It doesn't matter. You just, you just want to win. Up four to two for Colorado. Nathan McKinnon leading the way. A couple of goals. Jamie McKinnon. Eric Johnson with the other goals for Colorado. Pavelski Marlowe for San Jose. There's another whistle. And it's an icing, uh, excuse me, an offside call on the San Jose. The Avalanche actually got some celebrating to do. Matt Duchesne a couple goals away from 100. One more point for 100 for Mr. Landis Gog and Jamie McGinn, 98 career points. So, oh, my, oh, incredible numbers for young guys. Some point streaks going on right now. Landis Gog on a six-game point streak. Johnson on a four-game point streak. All right. That's at the puck. Pass to center. Picked up. Carried in by O'Reilly. Shoots. Missed. And Cleese after it. Put it behind the net. In his direction, centering pass, pushed out to center by Pavelski. Sharks called for icing. Look at the Avalanche gave him again. Like we mentioned, he's getting a little frustrated, but the Avalanche put him on the line with Duchesne, and he did exactly what he did. He was driving to the net. This is the best example of right here with the whole last game. And then tonight, this is that's a that's a goal scorer's goal right there. What are the first two goals do, Mike, that you're banging in? They give you confidence for that third goal. You maybe don't score that last one if you haven't scored the first two on those bang-in rebound plays. Because now, all of a sudden, you're scoring. So you grab it, and you throw it top shelf. Now, Thornton's coming over to the San Jose bench. He just quit. He's going home. <laughs> his stick broke, so that's it. That's his favorite stick, so he's going home. The only one he has, right? Yeah. <laughs> he brought one. Here's a replay, you see. He's <laughs> snapped down on that thing. Underway again. 
Sharks. Shepard off the glass. Looks at the center. Avalanche come back and it's Landeskog. Skating the center ice. To the red line. Skates over. Broken stick for O'Reilly. Nice recovery by Stastny there. That was a really good play defensively. Because he could have cheated and gone in thinking O'Reilly's shot would have gone in to the zone. He waited. Way offside for the Sharks. Avalanche gets possession. Five minutes played in the third period. Still 4 2 in favor of the Avalanche. Flipped it in. We got another whistle. Not for Gabe Landeskog, Mike. Six games now, seven points. Ties a career high. But, you know, as we talked about, there have been tight games up until this one. This one, you know, is only a two-goal game, certainly. But And he's had points in those big games. The Avalanche, to a man, have talked about this seven-game homestand. They know that this is going to be a pivotal part of the year. And this is, a, you know, just a huge last 15 minutes of this hockey game. Begins pass for Talbot. Puts the cross, Boyle pass. Nieto. Talbot for the abs. Bounce the puck to center. Scoop the cross. Pass through the middle. Intercepted. Good sure. Marlow going down the middle. Shot dribbled to the front. Kicked out by Barlamov. Play back to the point for Hannon. His shot tipped on net. Save score. Logan Couture with the rebound goal to make it a 4-3 game. That's his 14th of the year. And we got ourselves a little hockey game here with 14-16 to play in the third period. Our watch bar, I believe, Mike, he just bats this out of midair. The puck is actually going by the net. He bats it and it just comes right across to Couture, who had gone 11 games without a goal and now scored the last four games for the San Jose Sharks. Here's the Kia scoring summary. 14th of the year for Logan Couture. The goal coming at 5.44 in the third period. And Patrick Marlowe, Scott Hannon assisting. Borg's line out for the Sharks. Long pass. Boy, what a good one. Fabelski shot save made by Varlamo. You like that pass, Peter? Yeah, Michael. You know, it, oh. great passers make all the passes. And Varlamo makes the save. Shortly after Couture has made this one a one-goal game in the third. Let's answer the did you know question. What was the final score of the Az's first game versus San Jose on December 5th of 1995? Wow, 12 to 2. Avalanche got the win. Congratulations, Tony. Of course, Mike, Mike, you and I know that date well because that next day, and it was actually finished off that night, December 5th, 1995, Patrick Law was traded to the Colorado Avalanche. And a franchise changer, no question about it. In so many ways, yep. certainly winning a couple Stanley Cups. Thornton with a blast. Down low for Burns. Now with the Patrick Watt, head coach of the Colorado Avalanche. Kicked in by the Sharks. Pushed out to the neutral zone. Landis Scott takes the puck. Proceeded over the line by Stastny. Colorado is offside. Well, Michael, interesting play for the San Jose Sharks. You know it's a set play. Watch big Brett Burns, who is a monstrous guy, just drive right through the middle. Watch him just, there's three avalanche players. Now, he just goes through like a middle linebacker. He just charges through. He gets the shoulder of two guys, which stops them from coming out. Pavelski wins the drawbacks to Thornton. There's a great, just a great play, because he was just going forward. Sorry, hammers the puck in. Now it's free, roll back behind the net. Centering try, just behind the slot. Waved at by Braun, but the Avalanche are on it. It's Mitchell, pass back to the point. Then Watts slides across to Sarge. 
Play behind the net. Pass in the slot for Mitchell. He gets checked by Braun. 13 minutes to go in the third. Four to three. First meeting, the Avalanche lost in a shootout. San Jose, five to four. Another high scoring, close game. Here's the second meeting of the year. Off to Duchesne. The puck comes deep into the San Jose end. Backhanded around. For sure. Pass off the boards. Cut off by Duchesne right in front of the penalty boxes. Tip back in. Hannon racing back toward the puck. Played around and got the puck to the neutral zone. Shepard. Pass across for Boyle. He's in. Dropped it behind him. Back to Boyle in the corner. Holden. Going to get away from defenseman Dan Boyle. Goes off the glass. Got the puck out of the zone. Pass back into the San Jose end. Hannah back it up. Strikes on the middle of the chain. Boyle. Off the boards, center ice for Pavelski. Thornton line back out for San Jose. Thornton has the puck, carries in on side. His pass off of Pavelski and then covered by Varlamov. You know, it's the term, it's a, you've got a playoff atmosphere or a playoff field. Mike, I've never enjoyed that term. Right. Playoffs are the playoffs. What? What this has is a really good feel to it. It's a, it's a hockey game right now in the middle of the season between these two clubs. Two points up for grabs for these two clubs right now. The Avalanche looking to move forward in that Western Conference. But it's wonderful to see the intensity that is here. I mean, it's just, it, it, you can feel as the guys are coming off the ice. The, just the concentration when the coaches talk to them. It, it has been one of the best games for that feel this season. McKinnon's two goals. In and Johnson the other for Colorado. Novelski, Marlow, Couture scoring for San Jose. 27 shots for the Sharks. 19 for the Avalanche. And the Adam pushes the puck ahead. Cut off by Sarch of Colorado. Turned it behind the net. Mitchell up the boards and sends the puck out of the zone. Quick pass. And it's the turn, cut off. The Avalanche has got it. McLeod moving in. His shot wobbles to the net. And uh, stopped by Stalock. And McGinn uh, roughhousing a little bit after the whistle. And just moving the puck at the net. That's mean again. Right now, Mike, you know you you know you what are we what left nine minutes into it. The ice is starting to get a little bit chewed up. You don't want you don't want to turn back against the play. Against the ball, you just keep push, pushing everything forward. After the faceoff, struggle for the puck, control of it. The half work comes free, bounce loose, McCarthy for San Jose. Go off the boards, turn back towards the blue line, Stewart's chance, intercepted by Duchesne, he gets bumped. McCarthy off the board. Shepard snaps the puck around the boards. Waiting on the near side, Desjardins. He gets hit by Holman. That frees up the puck for Talbot. Shoots it ahead off of Stasny. And it back to center. Desjardins passed through the middle. Carried in by Boyle. He's in. He shoots. Club save. Made by Varlamov. Boy, Dan Boyle. Like he's one of my favorite players in the NHL, just for the competitive nature with which he plays. He and Sarge were teammates when they won a Stanley Cup with Tampa Bay. But he does so many little things wrong. Well. I mean, that, that's one of the classes. There's, there's that Joe Sackett through the, through the legs of the defenseman. So hard for the goaltender to read, but Varlamov just does a great job. Boyle's not a big guy, but boy, you talk about a guy that competes. The point shot by Boyle. Tips up into the screen and out of play. Well, Mike, what do you think? Halfway through this third period, we played 50 minutes of hockey. It's 4-3. Doesn't get much better than this, does it? This is great hockey, isn't it? it we it, we it, get goals. It, it was tough at times. And you get to see some of the... We're seeing 
some of the best players in this game scoring, doing things. Here's a chance in front, stopped by Varlamov. And Varlamov gets a little testy, swinging the stick. Things calming down. A lot of tempers during this one. Avalanche lead by one in the third. Like, you know, you know, we don't want to overstate it because you know it sounds too, too dramatic. But this, these are the games where you learn about your teammates. You learn who you can trust. You can learn defensive partners. You know, will he put me in a tough situation? Is he going to make the right play? Wingers, will they pay the price along the boards? All these things, as much as the coaches are watching and trying to learn, you're on the bench watching and you're assessing. Okay, who are the who are those guys that I want to go to? all the way with and, I, and it's it's amazing to watch teams come together through games like this well, san jose scored here in the third period they're the only third period goal in the last 16 games they've only scored two third period goals once carried in by landeskog for the o'reilly go check the way flip to the center ice for burns he just sent a rocket around the board. Kept in by the Sharks. Down low to Churn. He's got the goal here in the third period. Tap back to the point. Classic with a chance. Got it blocked. And bounces in back to him. Keeps it in play. To the point. Knocked down. Nice play by Boyle. Backhanded down the slot wide of the Avalanche net. Hate his pass. The center for Landeskog. Slipped away. I'll tell you one thing, Michael, too. When the ice is like this, and it's not bad ice by many means, but when it's getting later, the harder the pass, the better. You start to throw little soft passes, you're just, you're setting yourself up for disaster. Mitchell is center ice. So why is that, dude? Well, because, because the ice, because you guys got to wait for it. Bump. Everybody's on top of you so quickly. And if you happen to miss the pass, it gets out of the zone or into the zone instead of just sort of staying in the neutral zone. Pass over for Nieto. Hook checked away. Benoit. Jumping up McLeod. Cuts in. He shoots wide. Hendrick turns. Moves the puck behind the net for Boyle. Get out the center. Pass through the middle. Tipped in to the Colorado zone. Turn right back out in the center by the Avalanche. Draw slice pass. Hit to Shane. Bounce to center ice. Desjardins brings the puck in, gives to Shepard, slipped away from him. Turns trying to hold the puck in. Tangles up with Talbot. The puck is freed up to the corner. Johnson's pass over to McGinn, off the glass and out. Like that wasn't pretty, but that was hard work. David Johnson came in behind that play and helped get that puck out of the zone. Boyle to Stewart, a vice tip. The court line comes in to the third period again. Stastny's line out to the Avalanche. Landeskog carrying the puck. Moves it across. Puck will score it up to the side. Block pass out to center. Pavelski was trying to get behind the defense. Get it for Colorado. A vice for O'Reilly. Waits to move the puck behind the net for Landeskog. Washed up against the boards by Braun. Tip to center ice by Nieto. Pass comes across. And shot in with seven minutes to go. In the third, four three lead for the Avalanche. And scored the first four goals. Shrucks has scored the last three. Back in behind the net. In the Av zone, Benoit's pass. Back to Benoit, over to Sarge. Bounce the head for Mitchell right at the sharp blue line. Shepard hit by McLeod, fights that off, makes the pass, and slips back to the Avalanche blue line. Get it. Slips the puck across for Holden. Back to the middle circle for McKinnon. Sprinting in, fights off the stick check, moves the puck around. Fired up the board by Classic, couldn't get it out. Long pass, tip, center ice by Kearns. Get it, slap the puck around. Back to center ice. 
through the middle. Pass. That one bounced off of Pavelski over towards Burns. To the corner. Side of the net. Hayda rolls the puck around. Boyle keeps it in. Burns centering pass in front end. Pavelski in front of the net. And it goes to Thornton. His shot gets blocked by Duchesne. Played back to the goaltender by Thornton. And Boyle pass through the middle. Going to be an icing call. Icing called on the Sharks. How about Thornton passing back to his goaltender to make a play? Well, that's obviously one of those situations you've got great confidence in what your goaltender can do. But again, Mike, watching the Av the Avalanche are in control right now. I mean, San Jose is a very talented team we talked about, but the Avalanche are not making mistakes defensively. San Jose, we talked about 36 shots on goal. That's what they average. They got 28 so far in this hockey game. Dumped in around the boards. And the puck has been in the ads end for just four and a half minutes this period. This is a nice job once it comes in and getting it out immediately. Just like we just saw. Oh, check it. To the neutral zone. Couture's pass broken up by Benoit. Slide free from Marlowe. to Couture. Back down in front, bounced just away from Nieto. Landis Scott. The door was open, the San Jose bench, and that's where the puck went. And that's why we've got a whistle, and we'll be back with more third period play in just a moment. Well, Michael, this is game four of this big, all-important seven-game homestand for the Avalanche. You can see five hard-working points out of six to start it, Mike, and, you know, you look at it, and it's it, with today. There's 18 games remaining, but 36 nights for the Colorado Avalanche before the All-Star break, and, you know, Mike, this is a this is a big time for a big push, and the Avalanche, to this point, Mike, they certainly have met the challenge of this homestead. It's been fantastic. Semyon Varlamov has been amazing. Some big goals in this game. Lead it 4-3, 440 still to go. Against a very talented San Jose team. Or Walmart puts the puck around. Block, bounce back across the low slot. After it is drawn, there's going to be a penalty on the Avalanche. Sharks are going to get a power play. Marlow. The Sharks did score earlier in this game on a delayed penalty. That's where we're at right now. Pavelski carries the puck to center. Over the line. Pass across ice for Thornton. Down low, he had a man cut right in front of the net. And to touch the puck. And the Avalanche are going to be shorthanded. With 4.02 left to go. It's Jan Hayden, the second minor of the game. Up. There's the call right in the middle of the screen coming across. Right, we've got 402 remaining in this hockey game. They've got the big boys out there getting the power play. So yeah, here's a, here's your test. You gotta think Barley's gonna have to come up with one big save at least Mike in this power play. Kowalski take the face off. Nice job by Cleach. He reached in and cleared the puck away. Stalock set it up. Hayda off for interference. Time of the penalty is 15:58. And the Sharks' third power play chance of the game. The one for two. Back to the point. Kowalski shot rising off the glass high. And then the snap around the boards. Bobbled at the line by Pavelski. Bumped by Talbot. Pavelski got the puck back. Put the puck back into his own zone. Like he won't be in the scoreboard much. But Talbot's having a tremendous game. Here's a breakaway chance. Pavelski. Oh, big save. Three back. Another big save. Wow. Two big save by Varlamov. Pavelski, who's been an avalanche killer through the years. And a chance there he is in front again. That's deflected away. What a save by Varlama. Thornton has the puck. Thornton looking down low for Pavelski in front. Slid it across with a backhand try. Burns pass to the point. Cross for Thornton. 
So dangerous, a little time, a little space, shot, gets tipped wide. I think Benoit got a piece of that, and it is cleared out by the Avalanche. Nice play by Mitchell. That's the hardest play in hockey. Like the backhand, get it up and over everybody. The tendency is to have it roll off your stick. Pushed over the line. Marlowe. Cleared out by McLeod. 20 seconds left in the penalty. Lasting carries to center. Over the line for Demers. The puck to the corner. 10 seconds left in the power play. Couture couldn't hold it in. The Avalanche going to kill this penalty. Demers and a man in front, Marlow, going down the middle. Deflected to the corner. Penalty is over. Stancy on top of the puck. It comes free. Pavelski to the point. For Vlasic. Back to Pavelski. He had a breakaway chance on that power play. In score. Tipped to the side of the net by Marlow. Played back for Demers. In the high slot. Vlasic couldn't handle it. And the puck comes out to center. Truck's going to get back on side. And a giveaway to Holden. He puts it on for O'Reilly. The trailer. The shot by Landeskog. And Stalock made a good save. Knocked out to center. We're down to a minute 20 left to go. Stanton for O'Reilly. Scooped out to center. Pavelski. Empty that, Mike. But Stalock's gone to the bench. Extra skater out. Boyle winds and fires off of Arlava. Reverse back around to the near side. Extra One. skater out for the short shot in front. Bouncing puck off the back. And cleared off the glass and out by the Avalanche. 50 seconds left to go. Pass up ice. Tip by Thornton deep into the Av zone. Avs have got it. Benoit sends it around. McGinn scooped it out. It'll land at the blue line. Runs pass. Right at the Avalanche line. Get it. Looking at the empty net. He shoots. Blocked by Braun. Pass up ice for Couture. Thornton takes the puck, shoots it in, 24 seconds to go. Played off, off the boards, Talbot, Thornton's pass comes out of the zone. Thornton sends it across, that one slipped away. 12 seconds to go, Lassett, pass up ice, picked off by Mitchell, but taken away from him, bounced in, it's gonna roll wide, time running out. Two seconds, one, this one is over. <laughs> with two big, big, big saves during the shorthanded situation. And for the Avalanche, they get their 26th win of the season as they beat the San Jose Sharks 4-3 in one of the most exciting games of the season. I, I, I think you roll everything in. It, it, it was the most exciting game of the year. This is the save late. We talked about the fact that you know that San Jose was going to have a scoring chance. They're, they're just too good not to get something when it means this much inside of a game. And they had two. And Varley again, Mike. Varley again in those big, crucial moments. Big saves. But this was a 1 through 20. This was a, a, a team win for the Avalanche. What an effort. They held off the Sharks after being up 4-0. The Sharks came back to make it close. They get a late power play, but Varlamov with those two saves. And Nathan McKinnon with yet another game-winning goal this season. Well, the Avs going to the locker room to celebrate. Why don't we listen in uh, for the announcement of today's Coors Molson three stars of the game. Time now for today's three stars of the game, as selected by Sandy Clot of 104.3 The Fan. Tonight's number three star from the Avalanche with the goal tonight, number six, Eric Johnson. Today's second star, once again, huge in net, number one, Samyan Marlama. Tonight's number one star, scoring two goals in the game, giving him now 
26 on the season, number 29, Nathan McKibben. And our number one star is standing by with Julie Brumman. Nathan, tell us how much this win means to you coming against such a very good San Jose Sharks team. No, it was fun. Um, no, obviously, we didn't really want to let them get back in the game like that, but um, no, thankfully, Varley was outstanding for us tonight, and um, no, I thought it was a pretty solid 60 minutes out of everybody. Two goals for you. You now lead all NHL rookies with 26 points midway through the season. You're having a great year. Yeah, no, I think... Uh, well, thankfully, I've been playing with some great players this year, and uh, Patrick and the rest of the coaching staff have, have done a great job with me. And, uh, you know, thankfully, uh, you no know, summer going in, summer not, but um, overall, it's been a lot of fun so far. Looked like such an intense game out there. Was it an intense feel for you guys? Yeah, it was. Uh, you no, know, definitely gripping the stick pretty tight, sitting on the bench there watching that um, last couple of minutes. But, uh, you no, know, thankfully, uh, like I said, Valley was outstanding, and uh, we got the job done. Thanks, Nathan. Great job. Yeah, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. All right, guys. Back up to you. All right. For Nathan McKinnon, his fourth game-winning goal of the season. Leads all rookies in that category. If the Avalanche win it this afternoon, 4-3. to three. Please join us again. The Avs continue this homestand on Monday night. They will host the Calgary Flames. Now let's get you to the studio for the AutoNation Toyota Locker Room Report.